Asia has a lot of fiscal space that we have not actually used. Uh, in, in, this is on the economic side. Uh, because the uh, debt to GDP ratio is still very, very low uh, compared to the, developing, to the developed world. It's only about 34 to 35%. And therefore, it has a lot of space to actually deal, to stimulate growth and to create a balance or, or a, a, the right combination between growth and, and, and inflation uh, through a, uh, a preferred combination which will allow growth to happen and to also control the, 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 the issue of inflation. And one way of doing this is, of course, through the stimulus packages. I mean, we're at the heights of the financial crisis. Many of the Asian countries, China, India, Vietnam, all had stimulus packages to stimulate the, 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 the economy. <clears throat> and much of that stimulus packages, uh, in fact, went into the social development agenda, like in, in China, it went into rural health care. But it also went into innovation. It went, in fact, to the energy sector in terms of uh, the, uh, looking at the R&D of, of energy technologies. And that's why they are experimenting, for example, with the solar cells. How do you make it uh, cheaper? Uh, how do you uh, deal with carbon capture technologies? I think Asia is also know that if they would like to turn the, what I call the greatest challenge of this century, uh, which is the climate change challenge, into an opportunity, then they have to take the lead to open up new technological markets and be at the forefront of technology uh, innovations because there are new markets. But at the same time, uh, it is also critical to look at technology transfer, because not everyone is going to be, uh, can engage with technology innovation. So some of the poorer countries, the least developed countries, uh, cannot build up their productive capacity unless they have technological and financial support. In fact, <clears throat> the, um, the Istanbul uh, meeting on least developed countries came out with an action plan, and centered to that plan was actually the, the call to develop a technology bank uh, of basically technology, energy and technologies to help these countries build up their productive capacity and to diversify the economy so that they're not uh, commodity based. Uh, I say this because this is precisely, you actually see a link between <clears throat> the fact that you, if you want to sustain your growth, you actually need to invest in the future economy, not the economy of the past, nor the economy of the, of the present. And the future economy is the green economy. At the same time, uh, if you want to grow, you cannot have a situation where you are now dependent just on your export markets. You are highly dependent on your domestic markets and on your regional markets. And therefore, the whole regional connectivity agenda, including the energy highway, then becomes uh, a very important uh, agenda.